Hi students, I am Pravin Sebastian Paul. In this lecture, we are discussing the UML basic notations. As we all know, the UML stands for the Unified Modeling Language, which defines specific notations for each of the building blocks. And we are discussing each of them. Firstly, we are going to discuss the class. A class is represented by a rectangle having three sections. The top section containing the name of the class, the middle section containing the class attribute, and the bottom section represents the operations of the class. The visibility of the attributes and operations can be represented in the following way, like public, private, and protected. A public member is visible from anywhere in the system. In class diagram, it is prefixed by the symbol plus. A private member is visible only from within the class. It cannot be accessed from outside the class. A private member is prefixed by the symbol minus and the third one is protected. A protected member is visible from within the class and from the subclasses inherited from this class but not from the outside of the class. It is prefixed by the symbol hash. An abstract class has the class name written in italics. For example, let us consider the circle class. The attribute of the shape circle are coordinates, the, they are x coordinate and y coordinate and thus the attribute of this class circle is x code and y code and radius. The operations are find area of, find circumference of and scale of methods. Let us assume that the x coordinate and y coordinates that is the x code and y code are private data members and the radius is a protected data member and the member functions are public. Thus, this figure gives the diagrammatic representation of the mentioned class circle. So next we are discussing the term object. An object is a real world entity and in the UML representation an object is represented by a rectangle with two sections. The top section contains the name of the object with the name of the class or package of which it is instance of. The name is taken in the following forms. That is, it may have the object name hyphen class name or secondly, it has object name hyphen class name extending the package name and thirdly, class name itself in the case of anonymous object. The bottom section represents the value of the attribute and it may take the form attribute name is equal to some value itself and sometimes the objects are represented using rounded rectangles also. For example, let us consider an object of the class circle which is mentioned earlier named with the C1. We assume that the center of the C1 is at 2,3 and the radius of the circle C1 is 5. Therefore, this figure depicts the object of the class circle. Next, we are discussing the term component. A component is a physical and replaceable part of the system that conforms to and provides the realization of a set of interfaces. It represents the physical packaging of elements like classes and interfaces and the notation in UML diagram is as shown in this figure a component is represented by a rectangle with tabs as mentioned here. So next we are discussing interface. Interface is a collection of methods of a class or component. It specifies a set of services that may be provided by the class or a component. Generally, an interface is drawn as a circle together with its name. An interface is almost always attached to the class or component that realizes it. This figure shows the notation of an interface. The next term to be discussed is packages. A package is an organized group of elements. A package may contain structural things like class, components and other packages on it. Graphically, a package is represented by a tabbed folder. A package is generally drawn with only its name. However, it may have the additional detail about the contents of the package. So this is mentioned in this figure. So next term to be discussed is the relationship. A notation for different type of relationship is shown in this figure. Usually, 
the elements in a relationship play a specific role in the relationship a role name signifies the behavior of an element participating in a certain context the relationship associated in uml diagrams includes dependency association direct association inheritance realization as well as aggregation and each of these representations has independent type of notations for example this figure shows an example of different relationship between the classes the first figure shows an association between two classes department and employee wherein a department may have a number of employees working in it worker is the role name the one alongside of the department and card symbol alongside the employee depicts that cardinality ratio is 1 to many that is one department may have many workers now we're away in the reverse order many workers associated to one department the second figure portrays the aggregation relationship a university is the whole of many department that is one university may have many department or many departments forms a university so my dear students this is how we are representing different notational values in uml diagrams so hope you had understood this topic so my dear students kindly go through this assignment question our assignment question is write notes on uml basic notations so my dear students in the upcoming lecture we will discuss detail about the uml features so see you soon until then goodbye thank you and all the best